Hey guys, I hope you're having a wonderful week. In today's video, I just wanted to take some time to share with you guys some little rituals, habits, personal joys that I love and things that help me at the end of a long, stressful work day to unwind, reset my focus, elevate my mood, and help me to, in all honesty, transition into the act of sleeping and restorative sleep. You may have picked up on the fact that recently I have started a new hobby of container gardening out on my little patio and this is me a few weeks ago with my new tomato plant getting it in the pot in the dirt uh, with the cage for it to grow on and I am happy to report I have not killed the plants yet. Here's my parsley holding on strong as well. It's really been fun and taking care of a plant uh, gives you a sense of purpose. I also sometimes come home or in the early evening hangry. Having a antioxidant packed smoothie is something that helps elevate my mood automatically, particularly with the pure rose nectar, uh, which is rich in antioxidants and really gives everything an elevated taste and just overall beverage experience. I like to just do some basic housework, housekeeping, little routine chores honestly in the evening. Things that don't require a lot of heavy concentration, such as the act of snapping off the woody stems of these asparagus. Uh, I love asparagus and this time of year it's just coming to the end of asparagus season unfortunately. Uh, when I do this it just brings me back to memories of childhood in the summer. It was my responsibility to snap the ends off of green, fresh green beans out on the patio. I think it was something my mother gave me to do to get out of her hair <laughs> at that time of the day where probably she too was trying to unwind and reset and I was underfoot. So it kind of brings me back to that. It's very therapeutic. Having something like this to occupy your hands and um, just have a rhythm, it's very relaxing and just kind of helps you to meditate almost. It's meditative and restorative to do something simple like snapping the ends off of asparagus. I like to put on some relaxing music um, and watch maybe a YouTube video, but uh, sometimes I just enjoy the quiet. If you struggle with um, you know, some of you struggle, you've mentioned in the comments with skin problems that cause you to pick at your skin or you know, scratch. Um, you've asked me if I have any tips for that. Honestly, finding something like this to occupy your hands with that's relaxing can really help a lot. Um, and uh, the reason I'm doing this is I'm kind of prepping these uh, to have throughout the rest of the week. Uh, I just steam them here on the stove in a skillet with a little bit of water and cover it till they are tender. Um, and then I will drain the water off. While my asparagus is steaming this particular evening, I took some time to write a letter to a friend. This is another thing that is very helpful to occupy your hands and relax your mind and to take your mind off of your own situation, your own laundry list of worries, to just think of someone else and to check in with them, ask them how they're doing in written form. I fear that handwritten notes, handwritten letters will one day become obsolete. Nowadays we just communicate almost exclusively through text message and email and don't get me wrong, I love that. As an introvert in particular, I love not having to even talk on the phone with people, but uh, write, the act of writing and writing a letter or even just writing lists, notes, goals, aspirations, keeping a journal, it has a very meditative aspect to it, a very zen property that can help you as a strategy for coping with stress, um, with just day-to-day -day burdens that can really eat away at you in the evening and start to creep into your, into your sleep at night and prevent you from getting good sleep. 
It is something that people now, it's almost an epidemic of sleep depravity. People are subsisting on five, six hours of sleep at the most, most nights. And that is akin, eventually, that, that builds up and is almost akin to to being uh, inebriated on alcohol. Um, you know, your, your response time, your your cognitive abilities they are not as strong as they should be when you are sleep deprived not to mention your body cannot heal but it's really hard to make that transition into good sleep and particularly after the end of a long day sometimes just the act of getting to and from work alone is enough to just leave you exhausted guided imagery, just looking at peaceful images um, and helping to reset your focus um, is definitely something that is used uh, a fair amount for, for people who are trying to develop strategies to cope with stress to, to, in the pursuit of wellness. Um, and I also just love the act of sealing an envelope and you know these simple little, little routines and rituals. They are relaxing. But I like doing these things in the evening. They pull me away from my computer. They pull me away from the emails. They pull me away from that blue light that impacts our brain and our brain biology and interferes with our, our brain's ability to start the process of shutting our body down to go to sleep. Uh, the process of release of melatonin is disrupted through all that blue light exposure. So these simple routines that take you away from your computer can help in making that transition. I'm just putting some of the asparagus here in a, a glass container to cool. Um, so here's the smoothie that I've been loving. And you guys know I am a huge fan of Pure Rose Nectar. I am partnering with them on today's video. So check the description box. Uh, I have a coupon code for you all. This is a fantastic beverage enhancement. It is a functional food. It is not a supplement. It is a food uh, rich in antioxidants derived from uh, Bulgarian roses. Bulgaria is the world's leading producer of rose nectar. The Rosa Damasena rose of Bulgaria is harvested uh, and is utilized in making this nectar and this differs from rose water from uh, rose waters that you might buy in the grocery store in that it is solely rose no additives no preservatives no um, no other you know plants diluting it out there are 288 uh, rose roses in each bottle so this is significantly more concentrated than those rose waters and rose water you might try and make yourself at home with rose petals those are ornamental flowers um, and it's much much more dilute the reason i enjoy drinking this beverage and adding it to smoothies as i'm doing here this is just a uh, a clementine orange uh, a little a few berries some plant-based protein and some of the pure, nect pure rose nectar in ice and water. I just blend it in the smoothie. But the reason I love consuming this is it honestly elevates the flavor of foods in such, a, such an enriching way. I think we are dragged to kind of have this uh, 
compulsion to have experiences outside of outside of the home that draw us out and make us feel like we've got to be somewhere, we've got to do something. I think restaurant scenes are, are something that can really just overwhelm you. And honestly, you can recreate that in your own home in a very quiet, relaxing experience. No reservation needed, no, no worrying about who to tip and how much to tip. Um, and how to split the bill. So I, yeah, it's really something that helps me to unwind in the evening. Um, here I am watering my Japanese eggplant. See, I haven't killed it yet. I typically do the watering in the morning. That is actually the best time to water your plants are so I've read on the internet, but I wanted to share this with you all. My mom got me this fun um, meter for testing the the moistness, I know everybody hates that word, the moist, the moisture of, of your plant kind of guides you into whether you're overwatering or underwatering. So coming back inside, now it is, you know, kind of later, early evening, if you will, and I'm going to prepare, start to prepare dinner. And I love making my own food. I just enjoy the food that I cook myself. I find it is always something that I enjoy more than any restaurant experience. Something I've been loving lately is this carrot ginger red lentil soup. Um, I just chop up some carrots. I make this in my Kosari slow cooker. So any slow cooker you, you might have would do the job. You could also do this like in a pot on the stove. And in addition to the carrot, I just add some white onion. And a lot of people like to buy pre-chopped vegetables, but I don't know, I really like the action of chopping up your own vegetables. Again, it's one of those tasks that just helps to take your mind off of things. Someone in the comments shared this with me, and thank you so much. Uh, it's peeling ginger with just a spoon. So I've got a knob of ginger here that I'm gonna add to this, just kind of roughly chopping it up. This really gives it a nice, a nice kick and then there's just a little yellow bell pepper that I'm throwing in there and some Savoy cabbage you guys ask how I eat this and you see it in my grocery haul so this is something I've been enjoying and these red lentils cook up so quickly I just add a quarter of a cup of them uh, to the pot um, and then this is a dry soup mix that I have. It's just dried vegetables, no salt, no seasoning, it's like dried celery, dried tomato. So I add that and some anise seeds. And I also add, just to kind of thicken it up and let, while it slow cooks, I add a teaspoon of red rice, uh, kind of like you might add flour as gravy, you know, to thicken things up. And then this is a mixture of turmeric, black pepper, and fenugreek, and a little bit of coconut powder that I add in and just give it a mix. I also add in about two and a half cups of water and just put the lid on. And yeah, I, I have my water jar there that I'm always adding water to the Kosari and I just keep it there in my kitchen. Um, and I just put this on the high setting and let it slow cook for, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes. And it's really delicious, very um, flavorful, no salt added, uh, really nourishing lots of nutrients, vitamins. I've really been enjoying it. And for dessert, I have been having this hot chocolate, rose hot chocolate at night. I just heat up some almond milk in the microwave. I heat up about half a cup of almond milk and I add a tablespoon of cacao powder. I also will add in one stevia packet. That is my no calorie, no sugar sweetener of choice, but you could add whatever sweetener you wanted to this. And then I will splash in the pure rose nectar, which elevates the flavor of this to a luxury experience in a way that I cannot fully describe. You have to, you have to experience it yourself. But I will tell you, it does not taste like perfume. I was apprehensive about that when I first purchased it, and I was nervous it was going to make things taste perfumey. It does not. Yeah, it uh, enriches the antioxidant profile of things and is really a luxurious experience. And it really can uh, help you just zen out at the end of the day to have something delicious and luxurious like that. Speaking of luxury, who loves looking at a clean fridge? Raise your hand, I know I do. One of the things I enjoy watching the most on YouTube are cleaning routines and 
clean my fridge videos. They always motivate me, inspire me to put some order in my life, which can really bring you a sense of zen. So I'm sharing you mine in the hopes that maybe it will do the same for you. I've disinfected the surfaces of my fridge with a little dilute white vinegar and put everything back in. My non-dairy milk, my some sunflower seeds, some sparkling probiotic beverage. I've got some chickpea flour there, mustard and vegan gochujang, and then my water stash, my little uh, soldiers there of hydration. Um, and then I have here, oh, who loves just like color coordinated food? <laughs> I've got a bowl of mandarin oranges, which is what you saw me put in the smoothie. I have some leftover carrots there. And in my deli drawer, I store my tofu um, that I get at Costco, the house foods brand, as well as the shirataki noodles that I buy and the kelp noodles that I buy. Um, so I have to remember that I have these in here. Um, they don't go bad, but I like to store them in my deli meat <laughs> drawer. Uh, and then on the bottom here, I've got some radishes. I have my pure rose nectar. Like I said, I do store that in the refrigerator. And some of my parsley, freshly harvested, some cabbage there. And then in the bottom, I have my asparagus that I shared with you all. And then some zucchini chopped into coins and some zucchini chopped into spears ready to go. And then my bag of fresh and quick spinach that you see me buy every week. So greens on the bottom there. Yeah, like I said, I really find a lot of motivation from cleaning routines and order just brings you a sense of zen and peace. I then like to end my night by reading a book, not on a tablet. I like to avoid the blue light as much as possible. And the action of moving my eyes back and forth helps me to transition my brain into sleep and sleep mode. I'm currently reading Purity by Jonathan Franzen, one of my favorite authors. And that is how I lull myself to sleep in the evening. I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and share with me in the comments below what your way to unwind at the end of the day is. Check the description box. There is a coupon code for Pure Rose Nectar. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.